the ship will be constructed, other than from the technology, the bow line, uh, on the same plans as the original ship, as far as layouts go, room decor and finish, so people will be able to realise what sort of luxury and what, what, uh, what was around in 2012. We're planning that when it's completed in 2016, it'll sail from Shanghai to London with an escort from the Chinese Navy. We'll be inviting the Royal Navy to escort her on its maiden voyage across to New York and the US Navy to give it an escort back to, back to London. We think it'll be a, a, a great achievement. It'll also be a great tribute to the people who designed the original Titanic. It was certainly their intention that their work and the skills and their endeavours survived into the future. And we, want, we think we've got a vested interest in ensuring that it survives into the, into the uh, next century. It's a very exciting thing to do, and uh, many people have attempted to do it before, but have failed because they didn't have the buy-in of a shipyard, and they didn't have the money to pay for it. We've got the money, we've got the shipyard, and we're moving very heavily to commence construction and to bring this ship into service.